Hey, good morning, everybody. So today I wanna to show you how to do fruit. So I'm gonna show you how to do half a strawberry, how to do a full strawberry and leaves, how to do a kiwi and a blueberry and a raspberry. So uh, most of these really take super squishy clay. You need to use super squishy clay. And if it's half an inch or less, you don't have to hollow it. But it, if it is half an inch or more thicker, then you do need to hollow it. And if you do cover up that hole, like when attaching it to your cake or pie or whatever, you do need to vent it. And that just means to take your needle tool and poke a hole into that hollowed center. So just keep that in mind as you're doing it. Now, one thing that students always struggle with is that they need super squishy clay for this. I'm gonna start with a strawberry. So you really don't need that much clay to start with because if you keep it at your table, it's just gonna get dried out before you're done. So I'm gonna start with the whole strawberry, okay? So I just took a piece of the really squishy clay. And then the main thing is, is you gotta do the shaping fairly quickly. Like if you spend five minutes shaping this, it's going to end up being too dry and then it's not going to work. You're going to have to get another piece. So a lot of these just involve doing it quickly. So when you're looking at a strawberry, a strawberry is usually, you know, thinner over here and then thicker over here and it's kind of rounded on the end. Sometimes I'll tap it on the table a little bit just to kind of help emphasize, especially if it's got a cut bottom. But so I'm just gonna get the basic shape, right? And that took like 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna use my loop tool and I'm gonna use the loopy end and I'm gonna twist it in there like I'm drilling. And I'm gonna pull out a bunch of the guts of the strawberry and then I'm gonna clean off my tool and just make sure I get you know all the little dangly extras okay so then the next bit is the texturing so just doing this and painting it red it kind of looks like a strawberry but mm, it looks like a wimpy strawberry you can do better and the texturing is hecka easy. All you need is either one of these little pencil tools or literally a pencil. And you don't want a mechanical pencil. It needs to be like that purple pencil that I gave you. And if it's been used a bunch, that actually works better. Because all we're going to do is we're going to hold this tool at an angle so that it is going, see how it's not stabbing in this way? It's going this way. And we're just going to start making a whole bunch of little indents. So instead of making like all the little uh, seeds, we're just making the little spot where the seeds would go. And that actually is enough of a texture to make it really look like a strawberry because it adds a shadow in there. And by adding a shadow, we are making it look more strawberry-like and berry-like. And it really doesn't take that long to do. So it's really important that you spend some time and add in all the little details that are gonna make this super realistic, okay? So keep going around. You're gonna go all the way around and all the way down. So when you're done, it's gonna look like this, right? So this looks like a strawberry. And if I don't have any texture on it, it just looks like a blob. So make sure you spend the time to do the texturing. And like I said, if you hold it at an angle like this, instead of trying to stab it in, if you stab it in, it looks like that. And that does not look the same as going like this, right? So you want little tiny, little tiny V shapes like that, okay? So use a pencil or this pencil looking tool. Um, for the actual leaves, again, use really squishy clay. Now for this one here, I just took a little piece of clay and I did four, but you can do three. Either way is fine. Uh, and I just kind of squished it real quick. Again, this is one of those things. If you take a really long time to do this, 
your clay is going to dry out and you're not going to be able to do all the steps. Okay. So you just have to go with it and go quick. If you take five minutes, like a literal five minutes to make this, if you take a full minute to make this, it's going to be so dry. You're not going to be able to do any of the cool bendy stuff. So all I did was I squished the clay out into like a little tripod and then I flattened it out a little bit. So I want to really just focus on the edges and make sure that the edges are super flat. So I'm not making the whole thing super flat. I'm just making the edges super flat and that's going to make it more leaf like because leaves have thin edges, but it's clay. So you don't want to have too thin edges. All right. And then you're going to use your pencil tool again and don't hold it straight up and down. Like if I'm holding it like a pencil, I'm going to leave a bunch of clay boogies. But if I switch my hold so I can put it flat on the table, right? So if I'm holding it like this, then I'm not going to leave clay boogies and I can draw the veins into my leaves and not leave a billion clay boogies. So I'm gonna start with the main one and then add in some of the little extras. Doo, doo, doo. And I'm still gonna be holding my tool at that same angle that we were just talking about. Now for the leaves, I'm gonna do both sides because like you saw on this one, I curl it. So I would do both sides of this exactly the same way that I did on here, I would flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. And then once I have that, I would set it underneath my strawberry and I would bend the leaves. So, you know, having something like that looks really nice. You can have it, you know, curve different ways, but you wanna kind of have it curve around the fruit. And when you're done doing that, it starts to look really, really, you know, strawberry-like, right? and you can slip and score this onto your pie. Now, this one I made the basically the same way, squishy clay, but instead of doing like the little spokes where it stuck out really far, I just kind of made it squished like this. And then I did the same thing where I flattened it out, thinned the edges a lot, so the edges are really thin. And if you don't use squishy clay and it starts to crack or you take too long, just start over again, okay? So when you take your chunk of clay, you only need a tiny bit because if you take a giant chunk of clay and try to do this, it's gonna dry out and then you're gonna have to start all over again. And then it's the same thing with texturing, but I'm just texturing it in a slightly different configuration, right? But as long as you're holding the tool kind of sideways, then you'll have a minimum number of clay boogies to clean off. And you also want to keep your tool clean. That really helps. Whee. Right, and texture both sides. So that way, if you bend, when you bend and wobble it, it'll show like the from both sides. So do both sides and then twist it. But literally, how long did that take me? Not very long. So it's really important that you do that. Now for the half a strawberry, um, for the half a strawberry, you're gonna use half as much clay. Still have to do it really fast. Still start to point it, but then I'm gonna do it on the table and I'm gonna push around the edges a little bit. So I'm not pushing from the top because I wanna keep that roundness, but I'm pushing down from the top around the edges to keep this round on this side, but to make it flat on this side, right? So spend a little bit of time, make sure it's nice and round and flat. And then the main difference, like the back side of the half one, so like this side made exactly the same way as the other one. This side is a little bit different. So you still wanna use your pencil tool and you still wanna hold it not like a pencil, okay? And you're gonna add in the little white bit just by kind of pushing a little funky shape in there. And then there's a little bigger kind of area that goes around it. And then there's little spokes that come out from that. And the main thing that's gonna make it look really super strawberry is after you get all this texture and the outside texture on is how you paint it, how you glaze it with the underglazes, okay?
So the next one is this one. So like the raspberry, yes, it does take a billion little things to make it. I'll make a smaller one. So you basically start out with the same thing as, you know, the strawberry shape. You do want to have it hollow. So now since I'm making a slightly smaller one, instead of using my loop tool, I'm just using my pencil tool to poke it. But then you're going to score the whole outside because the whole outside gets covered in those little dots and it would be like way too much to try to <laughs> like score each individual little teeny dot like that would be crazy and you know say what you want but we're not that crazy all right and then two finger strip on there to add in some water and then again you got to use that squishy clay if your clay starts cracking it's gonna be like a bummer for you I'm gonna make a bunch of little little seed you know areas here we go so and then I'm just gonna start squishing them on here. Now at first it's hard to like hold on to anything because it's all wet and slippy and you want it to be kind of wet and slippy. But once you start getting some seeds on there, then you can hold it in your hand a little easier. The main thing is you just wanna keep on doing a few seeds at a time and make sure that they're stuck on there real good. You'll notice that I'm not slipping and scoring, but I'm using fresh clay and I did slip and score on the side, right? So you're gonna just continue that. If this gets a little dry, add more water to it. Uh, but you can see I continued it all the way around because raspberries, when you look at it from this side, they are already hollow. So that kind of works out good. And if you're gonna set this on your project sideways instead of this way, then it's okay to see that inside without all the dots because that's what it actually looks like. So you would just continue. Now, if you use too dry a clay, they're all just gonna fall off. So hopefully you're taking from this that you need to use fresh clay, okay? So the next one that I wanna show you is the blueberry. So a blueberry is just even smaller of a little circle. Take the end of your pencil tool make a little dot right there and then use the edge of your pencil tool around like i'm just making a little weird spot okay so you're gonna kind of follow along that little whole thing that you made so it looks like this and then use the side of your finger or thumb to kind of smooth out the little texture marks and to round it a little bit so now it looks like that and then you're gonna put your tool underneath and kind of squish your thumb over the top to flatten this little extra piece off. And then you kind of wrinkle it. Boink, boink, boink. And if you do get clay boogies, like take clay boogies off as you go, okay? Because it's easier to take them off early. And then you can add in the little teeny boink dot in the middle, okay? So that's how you make a little blueberry.